There's your toolbar, and you can go from there. Yeah. All right, so what will be your research topic? Uh, I guess engineering and techno technical engineering. topics. Okay, so <clears throat> engineering and technical topics. All right, so there's your toolbar. Mm -hmm. All right, you can go about how you will research that. What is that topic I'm supposed to be looking for, though? I mean, just I mean, so, anything in general? Yeah, so, I mean, pretend like I'm your professor and I tell you to write me a paper on engineering and technical topics. Okay. Show me what you would do to go research the topic so that you could prepare a paper. Alright. Um, I would look up whatever topic I'm researching. So um, I'm going to say the design steps in engineering. Okay. And I type that right into the So why did you choose to use that search topic? Um, it provides me with a lot of sources. It list them all in front of me and uh, I can just go through and look at what information I'd rather use in my uh, research paper. Okay. <clears throat> so you go on the PowerPoint? Yeah, uh, well, I clicked on the link and it went to the PowerPoint, so... Yeah. Oh, okay. So what made you choose that particular source? Um, I just look for something that I, I guess I heard in class. Just anything that sounds like we discussed in class. Usually the research paper will be some, about something in class. So uh, we did talk about 10 steps in engineering design. So here's like, it looks like something I've heard before. So okay. I figured that'd be a good source. looking for right now um, just information that I think myself is accurate okay. so do you think that that would be a good source to use in your research the one that you opened up um Yeah, I believe so. Okay. Why do you think it's a good source? Uh, just the information within it, I agree with. Um, it uh, goes along with what I've learned over time. So I think it's accurate information. Okay. So then let's say you decide to use this information in your paper. All right, so what do you do to keep up with this information? You use this source, I mean, do you normally stop at one source or? No, I look around. Okay. Um, I look around and look for other sources. Uh, this is a PowerPoint, so I'm not really sure how to cite that. That kind of affects what I use, being sure that I can cite what I use okay. in my research. So, I mean, I can't, I, I don't know how to cite a PowerPoint, so that would probably be out of the equation. I'll probably look for a website. I guess a site like this. I mean, it doesn't go into much detail like the PowerPoint, but it does list the um, steps within design. Okay. Um, I wouldn't use this because it doesn't give me much information. Okay. So the sources that don't give you a lot of information, you just kind of move on? Yeah. Okay.
So I see you going through different sites. What's making you leave those sites? Um, lack of information or just something that I, I don't like agree with. So let's say you go to that site, the source that you just found, mm -hmm. and you like it, and you feel like that's something that you want to use in your paper. How do you, what do you do to actually keep up with the information that the, for the good sources that you find? So I see you navigate the bad sources, you just kind of move on. But what happens when you find a good source? What do you do? Uh, I usually bookmark it so uh -huh. I can reach it easily, not have to go through the whole search process again. <clears throat> Uh, if it's a document like this, I would save it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright. So, okay, so then when you decide to use the source, you've bookmarked it or you've saved it. Mm -hmm. What about when it comes to um, citing your sources? What do you do? Or what's your uh, process? I probably just go click citing on a site. That'll, you know, you just enter the information and then it'll create a citation for you. Okay. All right, so then let's say you need one more source mm -hmm. and um, for the most part you've used Google. Do you have any other maybe search engines or any other databases that you would use to kind of look up, locate information for your research? I mean, there's always a library. I wouldn't really call it how you use the library for research. I mean, I'd probably just be walking around the library. Okay. Looking for keywords and titles. All right. Um, any other information you would like to add? All right. Thank you very much.